Today, there are 7 billion people who live on the planet. By 2030, this will increase to 8 billion, and 9 billion by 2050, all aiming to live happy, healthy, and productive lives. They will need to heat or cool their homes, cook food, have light, travel. Today, we achieve this using oil and gas, leading to pollution, volatility, uncertainty, and compromising sustainability. So what's the alternative? By harnessing renewable energy sources, we can generate the energy needed so our industries thrive and our economies grow. In 2011, 262 billion US dollars was invested in renewable energy globally. Half of the new electric capacity installed worldwide was based on renewable energy and five million people already work in the sector. 118 countries have set an objective for renewable energy. Renewable energy can power the world. But how does the world migrate from the current system to renewable energy? The first step is to provide information on renewable resources and their potential. The Global Atlas is based on an international partnership operated by IRENA. Countries around the world have varying amounts of renewable energy potential. When combined, these resources offer a surplus of renewable energy. Successfully implementing solar and wind energy technologies requires precise information on the available local resource. Raw wind and solar resources are just one part of the information needed. Local infrastructure, policies, and population centers also play a role. The Global Atlas will offer high quality information on renewable energy resources, local infrastructure and policies via an easy to use and free web portal, helping policymakers as well as investors plan for renewable energy projects. The general public will also have easily accessible information on existing resources. The Global Atlas shows long-term averages for the solar radiation and their monthly distribution. For wind, the system displays wind roses and speed distribution. Location-specific data can help drive investment through preliminary economic assessment of solar and wind energy systems. The Atlas does not provide bankable information, but supports the prospection phase for future solar, wind and energy installations. When a country decides to develop renewable energy, it faces a number of questions. The first step in answering these questions is to know what resources are available and to create maps of these resources. The second is to analyze the technical and economic potential. This requires knowledge about renewable technologies, socio-economic data, and policy information. These maps of potentials can be used to develop energy strategies and can also show how the future energy system can evolve. Based on these, legislative and financial instruments can be developed. This sets the political and economic framework to create renewable energy markets. How are these potentials calculated? Available and suitable areas often restrict technical potentials. Maps of the terrain, land use, protected areas, and infrastructure can be used to determine usable land and the available resources in these areas. For policy support and market analysis, the Atlas will contain geographical analysis tools to allow the assessment of the technical potential of various solar and wind technologies. It will also help determine the identification of zones with good resource availability. The estimated energy production on usable areas can be summed up and compared to the energy demand. The development started with solar and wind energy, but will be expanded to other resources in time. With the help of this flexible technology, participation can come from a broad range of data providers, able to join based on transparency and quality of their data and tools. The end user community of the Global Atlas guides the development of the application. All the information linked to the Atlas is listed in a data catalog available online, which shows the description of the data sets. The catalog stores the links to the data sets connected to the Global Atlas all around the world. 
Additional countries, institutes, and private companies are joining the initiative and will contribute to the system through access to their data. This is the largest initiative on global renewable energy potentials ever, and it is the first decisive step towards the increased and successful investment into renewable energies.